Hello, sunshine. This is Joy from Michigan in the United States, and I am going to do another swipe that's going to be very interesting, I'm sure, because it's called the use up the rest of my paint swipe. So, <laughs> heaven only knows what will come up with. I've got a couple options for swipe colors. We'll see what these colors look like once they're on the canvas. So, I've got so many cups of paint down here, guys. And it's just, I just can't imagine it's great for them to sit there. All right, so we're going to throw on a little bit of red. This does have silicone in it. This is cadmium red deep. And I'm just going to jump right in. Make sure to use up the rest of this. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's throw on a little bit of, this is primary blue. I don't think there's any silicone in this. No, no silicone. I do mark my cups now with whether it's got silicone or not. Oh, I'm going to run out before I get to the bottom. Let me try to add some down here. It's like a thin line that may not show up very well anyways, but it will, if nothing else, it will help the other paint colors to move right along. So we'll call that a win today. Deep towel already. I am just messy fingers. Okay, we have this one does have silicone. This is dioxazine purple, and it's such a deep purple. I think on future pours, I may need to lighten it up a bit. Get me using up my paints. It's not waste a drip. purple in there and this is going to be interesting not sure how this one will work out actually I'm not really sure how this whole painting will work out but anything's worth a try just about when it comes to painting this is pale yellow it does have silicone this will lighten up that purple a bit although purple and yellow don't like a pretty color so we'll see And I'm putting it right next to that yellow, or I mean that purple. Not probably the best idea I've ever had, but here we go. That one's used up too. And then I have some, I'm going to save that. That's dragon fruit and Americana, but I'm going to save that. I have this teal. So I've got a teal plus silver. I've got just a teal. I've got a deep blue. I'm thinking this deep blue. Yeah, this is a metallic blue. Let's, let's talk that in the mix. And this, I'm sure... Was a custom color and it's not going to be everywhere so let's just add the rest of this down here so the edges won't have it but the middle will all right there's that hmm i've got primary blue dragon fruit pink and teal I did this on the diagonal, I didn't mean to. Oh well. I think we're going to go with a lot of blues today. So primary blue. You know, I didn't think I was going to use this up, but we're so close, I might as well. Cleaning out the paints, and then I can mix up some nice fresh colors and see what fun things we can come up with for this, this next week. I'm starting to mix my paints up well in advance so that I can not have to worry about that on a daily basis. Now that I'm back to work, it's I have to find a whole new routine to make sure I have time for everything in my day. I didn't usually have that. I'm not used to having that concern. Okay, you know what? We're going to throw in some teal with the silver, but no silicone. All blues, and then I'm going to swipe with the purple one. I'm not really sure what that will look like. But as I've said before, we'll find out together, won't we? So this is like a metallic teal. Oh, maybe I don't have as much as I thought I did. That's okay. Try to fill in some of these bald spots. All right. 
You know what? I think I am going to throw a little bit of this dragon fruit in there, guys. Blues and pinks. It's going to be very purpley when we're done. But hopefully it will be a gorgeous purple. Dragon fruit pink. I even like the name of this one. It's just fun. This is maybe my favorite style of board painting to do right now because I feel like it's so free. There's no rules. You just kind of go with whatever you feel like doing. And that makes it a beautiful thing. Again, I have a canvas. If you watched my last swipe, <laughs> I felt like, boy, did I get a lot of paint on that canvas. Same thing today. That's okay. All right. Use that one up too. So the only thing I have left is a teal, but I think we've got plenty of paint. So I think that one's going to sit until another day. All right. We're going to go ahead and tip. Tilt. Whatever. And we don't, again, no stress. I mean, if, if you enjoy stress, I guess, you know, your art room, your rules. But in my art room, the rule is no stress. I'm going to let these colors kind of flow over each other. I do want them layered. I don't want them necessarily mixed. But layered is good. Layered gets you some real fun effects down the road when we, if we decide to balloon this. We want multiple layers so that your balloon can bring out lots of fun colors. Okay. I don't want there to be too much paint on the canvas, so I am trying to tip a fair amount off. But I feel like you kind of need that there. You need that extra paint so that you can have the freedom to tip this however you want, however you need to. You get the design and the colors and the scheme that you want. I'll tip this back a little. I apologize because I'm sure... This has not stayed in frame the whole time. It's interesting. I've got such thin stripes on the one end and such a big wide stripes on the other. So I'm going to try to even that out a little bit. All right. Oh, this is fun. I like these colors. Okay. Just checking my edges, which again, you know, I don't worry about. You can always fix edges later. Uh, that's especially true if you haven't used up the last of a color that you had. <laughs> but it's okay. Either way, you could go around all of your edges with a solid color, like a black or a white or something more fun, like a pink or a on this one, that, that bright pink would be pretty, or the uh, primary blue, maybe. Or even your swipe color. So, there's lots of options. Never a need to stress over edges and corners. Okay. I am going to swipe this one straight down from the bottom, even though I poured on a diagonal. I think it'll still work out okay. And I can see there's already some lovely cells developing, which makes me happy. So, my swipe color is going to be my default swipe color lately, which is Black Cherry. It is a mix of phthalo blue and red and a little blob of black to get it nice and deep. I feel like I'm going to, no matter which way I do this, you know what? I'm just thinking, can I get this in the right spot? We'll try. That's all we can do is try. And I do want a pretty thick line because I've got to go all the way down the canvas. In fact, I think I'm just going to add another thin line part of the way down. So I'm not going to try to swipe through that, but my, when I do my swipe, it'll pick that up and help spread it again, hopefully. All right, guys. Just helping that on the corner there. That corner I like. Okay, here goes nothing. I almost feel like I want to try the bigger one. So my swipe tool is a piece of um, a laminating sheet. A laminating sheet that I sealed on itself. So we're going to just drop this gently into... Oh, that was not real gentle, Joy. And then I've got way too much pressure. I'm having some troubles here. Let's try that again. Oh, look at those colors. I did have some issues down here. I don't think I can fix it that way, so that's okay. Oh, I'm breaking my own rule. Make sure you wipe your swipe tool before you go back and swipe again. Okay. And I missed the edge, but that's okay. No stress. All right. I'm done with the big one, and I'm going to switch to a small one. I'm just going to get this edge here. I normally don't go back like that, but it was such a small spot that I missed that I thought, eh, doesn't matter. I love this. It's, you know, even though I'm using up the colors that I've been using on several paintings now, it's so very different from anything I've, I've done before. Let's add just a little bit of this black cherry to this corner. There we go. It was barely coming out of that bottle, but we got it. Okay. I just don't like that big clump of blonde right there. All right, I'm going to keep this handy because sometimes I do find that I like to go back and hit certain areas. This red, for example, is not throwing me. I'm just not sure how to get this. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Okay, 
So I went all the way down to the canvas, had way too much pressure. No big deal. Yeah, little paint. There we go. And just try again with a lighter touch. Go through those white cells that I'm not loving. All right. Not loving the not loving the yellow in there, but I'm gonna leave it. If you fiddle with it too much, you end up with something you don't love. So I have my new heat embossing tool that I'm going to use here. Um, it's all tangled though. So let me untangle it. Here we go. Okay. It's got a short cord, but I just put it on an extension cord and then put the cord around my neck. Not all the way around. You don't want to hurt yourself, but. this one my leftover paint special it was such an interesting blend of colors but I really think it works I think it looks like under the sea there are some issues here on this edge so I am going to try to just gently 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 tilt this and just let this paint come down a little bit okay. it's there it just needs my help to come all the way over the edge and then I can let it be there. All right, I don't love this. I don't know. I'm gonna try my finger, guys, just to pull that teal over so we don't have that ring there. Because it's not a cell, it's it's an area that did not get fully swiped. So I'm not loving my edges on this one, but it's okay because I can go just like I said, I can go back over it with a solid color and really just make it flow with the rest of the art piece. So don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Enjoy the process. Enjoy being in your art room and creating and the art therapy that comes along with that. Um, this is my this is my art therapy. This is how I get through everything I have going on. It all started with quarantine. Um, something I haven't shared in previous videos. I Some people may look back at the dates on this and go, what do you mean? It's about quarantine. You didn't start this until... I have to look. I don't even know the date. But well into quarantine in Michigan. Um, our quarantine is hard. The kids' last day of school was March 13th. So I've been home since March 13th. Um, I'm just gonna try, I just wanna try to swipe down this edge. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. So as soon as I finish the swipe, because it takes a lot for me to think, <laughs> just give me just a second. There, that's better. I could have tried that with my finger, but I'm not sure it would have worked quite as well. So, um, so quarantine started on the 16th, well, school's closed on the 16th. I think quarantine started officially March 24th. Um, by March, 27th, I was having upper, no, lower respiratory illness symptoms, and I ended up going through testing for COVID. Um, it took about a week for the results to finally come back, which was frustrating, but not much you can do. No one to blame. It's not like the healthcare workers that were helping to provide care for me had any control over that, because trust me, they wanted to know as bad as I did. Anyway, so I spent a week in quarantine from my kids, and um, obviously not leaving the house, and it took me about three weeks to get over all the symptoms, or whatever it was. I guess when I did come back, came back negative. So whatever it was I had, I, it took me three weeks to get over it. And then um, it took me about another week to finally decide I needed to do something to have purpose to my day and motivation. So that is how this channel started. I have had um, a lot of people start subscribing, which makes me very happy. If you're one of those people, thank you so much. You mean the world to me. I am so, so grateful for each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, it would just make my day if you just hit that subscribe button and check out my videos from time to time. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up if you liked this one or leave me a comment and let me know what you think or something I should do different next time. I love hearing from anyone who has opinions on my art. It's it's a great thing when artists can collaborate in a kind and uplifting way and encourage one another to keep creating. So that is my goal on this channel. So I'm going to get off my little soapbox and I will take you all in for a close up. A lot of times I'll do balloon work, but I think this one is gorgeous as is. I don't think there's anything I'm going to change other than to let it dry. I will come out and check it in about an hour and see if I'm still loving it as much, but I am really happy with this one. I just, it's peaceful and yet very busy and active at the same time. Probably peaceful because it reminds me of the ocean and that's my happy place. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for joining. I will see you on the next one.